So I was thinking maybe uh, for this video, I can try a little political compass. Full disclaimer, I think these are complete BS. Yeah, it generally gets you where you are, but we'll get into the uh, questions. But first, I, I was reading this. I don't know if this is the official original one like that everyone takes. I don't know what looks right, but I was looking. Just these headlines. Uh, Australian election. Australia's federal election campaign got off to a Python Python-esque start. I don't know. They're trying to use big words to sound smart. With Labour opposition leader Anthony Elbnees being unable to tell questioners the prevailing weight rate of interest for the unemployment figure. Well, yada, yada, yada. Mm, seems a little biased, but then we get to French elect, uh, presidential election 2022. For a second term bid, so called centrist President Emmanuel Macron, so called centrist, okay, sensing the prevailing right wind, wing winds has drifted further. So that kind of seems like a conservative headline. So it's already a little biased. Let's take the test. You can follow along too, see where you land. I'm already, I already know this is going to be jank. All right, before taking the test, please note that it's, this isn't a survey and these aren't questions. These aren't questions. They're propositions to question the logic of individual ones that I rate you as to miss the point. Some propositions are extreme and some are moderate. That's how we can show you whether you lean towards extremism or moderation on the compass. Our responses should not be overthought. Some of them are intentionally vague. Yeah, okay. Their purpose is to trigger reactions in the mind, measuring feelings and prejudices rather than detailed opinions on policy. Just a few propositions to start with concerning no less how you see the country and the world. If economic, well, I don't know why, <laughs> if economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. It should serve primar should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Would it be transnational if it's now Globalism. I mean, agree, but I'll just do agree. I'd always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. I mean, no. See, this is why these are terrible, whether it was right or wrong, in the moment or in general. He's talking if it's right, as in the U.S., but it sometimes does things I disagree with. Or is it saying some, something like, it has to be extreme, like Iran. If I was Iranian, would I support my country, even though it's wrong? Oh, it's, 
move, but you're not supposed to think too deeply, then you don't actually get my point of view if you're not supposed to think about it. Then yeah, you're going to get the extreme or whatever. You're, you're, it's not going to be accurate if you don't actually think about it. You should be thinking about your stances. I'm going to say agree because I'm going to, I'm going under the assumption that it's just talking in general, I guess. No one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. But those don't have anything to do with each other. Yeah, no one chooses their country of birth. But you can also be proud of it. That I'm just disagree, disagree. You know it's strong. Eh, just disagree. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Like we talking about the four hundred meter, two hundred. I. 200 it's superior because it's over quicker and it doesn't I'm just gonna go disagree you know what strongly disagree the enemy of my enemy is my friend no the enemy of my enemy is also my enemy but two things can technically be true I'm gonna say agree Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously depends. It's sometimes just, yeah. There's now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. A wor there is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. I mean, it's not wrong to infuse information and entertainment. What's wrong is that the information is usually incorrect. So based off the premise, I'm going to say disagree. Now, the economy. We're talking attitudes here, not the F TSE index. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. I agree. Yeah. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Um, inflation affects everyone. Unemployment affects the unemployed. So I'll do agree. Granted, that effect, unemployment affects everyone if you have welfare, so I guess there's that. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment. They were, no, just strongly disagree. Less red tape, no red tape. Okay, so... There's obviously something you need, but no, absolutely not. From each according to his ability, to each according to his need, is a fundamentally good idea. From each according to his ability, to each according to his need. 
can I get the whole sentence? Why can I not understand what this is saying? From each according to his ability. So basically, do what you can. God, these are so bad. I I don't even know. The freer the market, the freer the people. Agree. There obviously needs to be a halt on monopolies, but in very few instances. But like I was saying, also with the red tape. So actually, I'm going to do strongly agree. It's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottle of branded consumer product. Just drink from your sink. You don't have to participate. It's great. You can you can buy bottled water. You know where you can't do that? Third world countries. Strongly disagree. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought. It's, what? Then who's gonna? <laughs> I'm not. That it should explain itself. As someone who would like to have some land, when I have the money, yeah, it should be bought and sold. Who do you want to control the government so we all have to stay in big cities, live in little tiny apartments? I think not. I know that's what the World Economic Forum wants, but. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. It is regrettable. I wasn't even, I was reading it, but I wasn't even thinking about it. It is regrettable to many personal fortunes that, okay, I'll get it one of these times. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money, contribute nothing to their society. So they're talking about the stock market, buying and selling. Um... I mean, do I get jealous? That people who just buy crap and then sell it, even not even feasible things, not tangible, <laughs> and get loads of money. I'm jealous. Is it regrettable? I'm going to say disagree, but not strongly. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't really care. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I don't know what that means. Protectionism, sometimes referred to as trade protectionism, is the economic policy of restricting imports from other countries through methods such as tariffs on imported goods, import quotas, and a variety of other government regulations. Yes. I agree. Because you get China who use slave labor to make their products so they can sell them for much cheaper. So that's two reasons because you don't want to participate in uh, 
buying from someone who uses slave labor. Obviously, we do that right now. And also, you want to protect the jobs of your own country. Also, an obvious one is in times of war. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. N no. The only social responsibility. Why? What so? What? How is that a social responsibility? It's the responsibility of a company to produce a good product or service. That's as basic as it gets. But the only, it's not the only. So, whatever, I'm going to say disagree. The rich are too highly taxed. Absolutely agree. I am, listen, I am poor as shit. I'm in my closet doing this. I live with four other people. The rich pay too much taxes. They pay like, what is it? The top percentages pay like 75 to 80 or something. I can't think off the top of my head, but enormously they pay most of our taxes. Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. Yeah, that's how that works. It's a service. You're paying for the service. It doesn't take a brain surgeon. Governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public. One of the few things that government should do. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Yeah, it, it, it is. A genuine free market requires restrictions. Yeah. Because then it's not a free market. They're just stamping them down. You're not free to move up. Now we'll look at some of your personal social values. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. Strongly agree. And it's not a portion if the woman's life is, is, is threatened. That would be a miscarriage. All authority should be questioned. Agree? Um, I, I absolutely hate absolutes. Absolutely hate absolutes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, you... In the context of information. Now, when you're pulled over and being asked to get out of your vehicle, now you shouldn't be questioning to an extent. You should be following the orders because officers can't ask you to step out of your vehicle for any reason. Not a traffic stop, but besides the point, all authority should be questioned. Like intrinsically, not like not to be an ass, just 
Hey, what do you mean by this? Hey, clarification. Hey, I'm not going to totally believe you. And I'm going to do my own independent research. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Um, disagree, but agree in some places. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on the commercial basis. Absolutely agree. Why am I a theater where three people go? Why am I paying for that? Absolutely not. I like museums. Museum. See, this is why you can't put theaters and museums. Museums are important to learn our history and whatnot. I guess music, Ugh. it's strongly agree for theaters, it's just agree, because museums is thrown in there ridiculously. School should not mail art, good job, school should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Yeah, they should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should. What? Okay. I mean, setting aside my disdain for public school, you should don't send your kids. But yeah, they need an, ed an education. And again, that's debatable for public schools, but you get the point. All people, have, all people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. All people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own What does that even mean? <laughs> Disagree, like that. Guessing it's trying to get at something racist or something. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, some people should keep them to themselves in their own groups, but what does all? This is why this test is dumb. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Yes, discipline your kid. Not saying like whip them or choke them or something, but it, there's a reason more kids are not as well behaved these days. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah. Yeah. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be criminal offense. Some people will not like my answer. It should be. Medical, sure, whatever. But I also think, I don't like alcohol either. We don't need to add more of this crap. prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Agree. And that's not what it is, but I agree that's what it should be. People with serious inher inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. What the absolute shit? Eugenics is what they're saying.
Now that's authoritarian left. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. I mean, the most important, why? How about just an important thing? to accept discipline. <sighs> Who writes these? There are no, there are no savage and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures that disagree. There are savage people. Look at terrorists only different cultures it's just my culture to blow people up and kill others because of their beliefs it's only my culture that I crap in the streets those who are those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support strongly agree When you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Um, I mean, it depends on what the trouble is. If it's unimportant, obviously, yeah, just ignore it. But I'm just going to go with the assumption that it's actual, it's things you should be troubled about. first-generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. No, again, never. Disagree. What's good for the most successful corporation? Oh, now I'm yawning. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good for the most successful corporations is always, ultimately, good for all of us. No. <laughs> right? <clears throat> World Economic Forum. Yeah, no. No broadcasting institution, however independent, its content should receive public funding. Yeah, no, it shouldn't. NPR looking at you and how you see the wider society. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Okay, this is like post 9 11 stuff. I'll agree. TSA, completely worthless. They have not stopped one terrorist ever. Thankfully, I don't have to fly planes very often at all. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a Democrat. Communism. Significant advantage. What? Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. I don't want to be tracked. You have no business or right to be tracking me. Death penalty should be 
an option for those the most serious crimes. Strongly agree. Get them out of society. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Um, no. No. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. I'll just do agree, but yeah, it's completely worthless. It's not beautiful. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Strongly agree. Yes. That's why it's criminal justice. So what do you think? We, we just send you to summer camp after you killed someone? Or le let's say a lesser crime robbed someone. Now you get to learn, I don't know, learn a trade. For free? No. You're getting punished. Now, there should be rehabilitation. There should be rehabilitation, but it's not more important than the punishment. I answered that correctly, right? Yeah. It is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. Mm, yeah. Like those psycho murderers that should be sentenced to death. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Well, the artist, they're more important. I'll do a grade because if you're a writer, I mean, writing, writers can be, they're just talking about nonfiction books, probably not, but mothers may have, mothers may have carriers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. Agree? Oh my gosh, I just said carriers. Mothers may have careers, wow. But their first duty is to be homemakers. I agree. Yeah. That also applies to fathers. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. I disagree. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Making peace with the establishment. Uh, disagree. It's an important aspect of falling in line. Even if it's not right, like, no, it's not maturity because you blindly follow everything. Got through that, okay. You'll find these propositions on religion of breeze, okay. Astrology accurately explains. <laughs> oh, hilarious! Oh, because the sun and the moon are this distance away from Earth, and whilst Mars is on its fourth trimester of rotation, and uh, fourth trimester. That means I'm going to eat a pancake and that'll make sure I'm rich today. You cannot be moral without being religious. Everyone's religious, they just don't know it. I agree, because 
our morals are founded on Christianity. It was before Christianity. It was okay to steal, basically. It's okay. It wasn't frowned upon to, let's say, rape, pretty much. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. I agree. Forced charity is never better. Some people are naturally unlucky. <sighs> yeah, I'm Catholic, but I believe in luck. But it's not really like you can make your own luck. But sometimes, let's just admit it. You're just unlucky. But are you naturally unlucky? That just sounds, to me, in this question, it just sounds like an excuse. So I'm going to disagree. Is it important that my child, it is important that my child's school instills religious values? No. Strongly disagree. Because right now, it's the religion of the left. Finally, we'll look at sex. What do you... I'm not seeing any sex on here. Disappointing. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. I agree. Does it mean you're not a hypocrite? No. A same sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded. Strongly disagree. Father and mother, it's what a child needs. It needs both. Not even, not even knocking same-sex couples. Some are lovely people, but they need a father and a mother. Children are not commodities. You don't, you don't have a right to a child. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Should it be should it be legal for the adult population? Yeah, I think it should not be a thing we have at all. But this is kind of coming into my libertarian of view they're consenting adults the only problem is that it should be legal for adult population yeah well they've made it way too easily accessible so now children can easily find it too this is a hard agree not like I really agree, but like, I disagree, but agree. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Certainly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Agree. Something happened. They didn't, I'm not saying they chose to be homosexual. But something happened in their life that mentally made them kind of lean that way. No one's naturally homosexual. These days, comma, oh, 
openness about sex has gone too far. Strongly agree. It's gone into our schools where kids are learning. At way too young, middle school, preschool, elementary. How to have sex and what erections are. Absolutely not. Would not be a thing. The starting point of the original political, I don't care. It's certainly fine for discussing economics, but to this day is still widely and wrongly used. Social attitudes. France's National Front, for example, is popularly described as far right, yet its economic policies are sometimes bent to the left of the French Socialist Party. Okay, yeah. Okay, I don't care. You're gay. China needs to scoot over a bit more. My political compass. Yeah. Good. Conservative, not libertarian. I always kind of thought I was libertarian. But no, I'm definitely more conservative, but also libertarian. I actually, okay. I ripped on this. I still think it's crap. I think I need to be pushed. A I, I'd say I feel more like here. I think that's me. Where my mouse is. But it was, it was, I mean, it was pretty close. All right. Did you do the test? Did you follow along? Are you asleep? Did you think some of my answers were dumb and reprehensible? Let me know. Maybe I'll comment. I probably would. I probably will if you comment. Where do you land? Let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay free.